This video explains about RDS on, which is a typical performance of MOSFETs. When a voltage is applied between the gate and source of the MOSFET, the drain to source is conducted. The resistance between drain and source is called RDS on. The ideal value for RDS on is zero, but actually the RDS on has a slight value. This figure shows the structure of a MOSFET. When a voltage is applied between the gate and source, the P layer just below the gate is inverted to an N-type semiconductor and becomes a conducted state. This part is called a channel. Since channel resistance is part of RDS on, it is important to reduce the channel resistance in the MOSFET design. An actual MOSFET consists of many such unit structures of constructed cells connected in parallel. The more cells there are, the smaller the RDS on becomes. But the larger the bare die, the higher the cost. Channel resistance can be reduced by making the channel length shorter. Also by reducing the size of the cells, more cells can be placed on the bare die. Therefore, minimizing channel and cell size through microfabrication techniques is essential to improve the cost performance of MOSFETs. RDSON is the resistance between source to drain. The figure shows a cross section of the actual bare die and the breakdown of the RDS on. N layers leading to the drain are composed of the two layers 3 and 4 in the figure. Layer 3 is called the drift layer, and this layer determines most of the breakdown voltage in RDS on. It is possible to increase the breakdown voltage by intentionally lowering the impurity concentration and by making the layer thicker, but the side effect is to increase the RDS on. The RDS on and breakdown voltage are in an exponential, inversely proportional relationship. Therefore, the drift layer resistance determines most of the RDS on in a high voltage MOSFET. Whereas, the channel resistance determines most of the RDS on in a low voltage MOSFET because the drift layer resistance is small. Layer 4 is called the silicone substrate resistance. It is characteristically unnecessary but it accounts for most of the thickness of the die. The main role is to ensure the strength of the wafer, so the impurity concentration is increased to lower the resistance value. This table shows a comparison of RDS on for MOSFETs with 600 volt and 60 volt breakdown voltage. Both have the same package and the size of the built-in bare die is about the same. It shows that the difference in RDS on can be as much as 300 times with the breakdown voltage being 10 times. The channel mechanism is the same whether it is a high voltage MOSFET or a low voltage MOSFET. However, since the impurity concentration and thickness of the drift layer are very different, the difference in breakdown voltage will cause a big difference in RDS on. At the same time, this means that there is a limit RDS on will not be lowered any more by the breakdown voltage. In high voltage MOSFETs, more than 90% of RDS on is caused by drift layer resistance. Therefore, the development of high voltage MOSFETs focuses on lowering the resistance of the drift layer. On the other hand, in lower voltage MOSFETs, the drift layer resistance is low, so the emphasis is on reducing channel resistance and increasing cell density by miniaturizing the cells. A MOSFET cell is generally striped when viewed from a planar perspective. You can see that the smaller the cells, the more cells can be implemented. Since the cells are connected in parallel, the more cells there are, the smaller the RDS on becomes. But the capacitance between terminals such as CISS increases in proportion to the number of cells. Since the capacitance between terminals increases drive loss and switching loss, it is important to select the appropriate capacity like CISS considering the balance with RDS on according to the application. You can also increase the implementation density of the cells by devising the direction of the cells. The planar gate structure does not increase the density of cell mounting, but it is easy to process and low cost. High voltage MOSFETs generally use a low cost planar structure because the channel resistance accounts for a small percentage of RDS on. On the other hand, since channel resistance accounts for a large proportion of RDS on in low voltage MOSFETs, the trench gate structure is used in order to increase the mounting density of the cell as well as to miniaturize the cell. As we have explained so far, 
A MOSFET consists of a collection of cells. The RDSON will get closer to zero if the number of cells is increased, but it would not be advisable to select a MOSFET only by RDSON because the trade-off for a greater number of cells is a higher cost and higher CISS and QG. The higher CISS and QG, the more loss the MOSFET will have, since it must charge more QG into the gate when it turns on. Since CISS and QG are proportional to the number of cells, we could do performance comparisons using RDSON multiplied by CISS and RDSON multiplied by QG. We call this figure of merit, or FOM. The smaller FOM, the better the MOSFET performance. Thank you for watching.